This video explains the procedure to draw involute of polygons. Initially we will see involute of a square. As the first step we have to draw the square. Draw one side of the square. Next side is drawn by taking 90 degree. Another 90 degree line at the other edge. The fourth side can be drawn by joining the end points of other two sides. The corners of the square can be numbered. Draw a horizontal line from the first corner of the square. Length of the line is equal to the perimeter of the square. One side of the square is taken as 40 millimeters, and square has four sides. Therefore perimeter is 40 times 4 equals 160 millimeters. Divide this horizontal line into four equal divisions. And mark it with numbers. Extend each side of the square. Measure the distance of one dash to two dash on the horizontal line. Corner point two as center, draw an arc between edges one and two. Measure the distance of one dash to three dash on the horizontal line. Corner point three as center, draw an arc between edges two and three. Measure the distance of one dash to four dash on the horizontal line. Corner point 4 as center, draw an arc between edges 3 and 4. Finally, with radius 1 dash to 1 dash, draw arc between edges 4 and 1. Thus the construction of involute of a square is over. Next is involute of pentagon. As the first step we have to draw a pentagon. Draw one side horizontally. Draw the next side by taking 72 degree angle externally. Similarly, at the other end of horizontal edge draw a 72 degree line and mark the side of the pentagon. From the end points of these 72 degree lines, draw arcs of radius equal to the side of pentagon. These arcs will intersect. Join this intersection point, with the end points of previously drawn edges. Thus the pentagon construction is over. Mark numbers on the corners of pentagon. Draw a horizontal line from the first corner of the pentagon. Length of the line is equal to the perimeter of the pentagon. One side of the pentagon is 30 mm and pentagon has five sides. Therefore perimeter is 30 times 5 equals 150 millimeters, divide this horizontal line into 5 equal divisions. Mark numbers on the divisional points. Extend each side of the pentagon. Measure the distance of 1 dash to 2 dash on the horizontal line. Corner point 2 as center. Draw an arc between edges 1 and 2. Measure the distance of 1 dash to 3 dash on the horizontal line. Corner point 3 as center, draw an arc between edges 2 and 3. Measure the distance of 1 dash to 4 dash on the horizontal line. Corner point 4 as center, draw an arc between edges 3 and 4. Measure the distance of 1 dash to 5 dash on the horizontal line. Corner point 5 as center, draw an arc between edges 4 and 5. Finally, with radius 1 dash to 1 dash, draw arc between edges 5 and 1. Thus the involute of a pentagon is drawn. Next is involute of hexagon. As the first step we have to draw a hexagon. As the part of constructing a hexagon. Draw a circle with radius equal to the side of hexagon. Draw a horizontal center line for the circle. 
with the same radius. Cut arcs on the circle from the end points of the center line. These points can be joined with straight lines. Thereby we will get a hexagon. Mark numbers on the corners of the hexagon. Draw a horizontal line from the first corner of the hexagon. Length of the line is equal to the perimeter of the hexagon. One side of the hexagon is 30 mm and hexagon has 6 sides. Therefore perimeter is 30 times 6 equals 180 mm. Divide the horizontal line into 6 equal divisions. Mark numbers on the divisional points. Extend each side of the hexagon. Measure the distance of 1 dash to 2 dash on the horizontal line. Corner point 2 as center. Draw an arc between edges 1 and 2. Measure the distance of 1 dash to 3 dash on the horizontal line. Corner point 3 as center, draw an arc between edges 2 and 3. Measure the distance of 1 dash to 4 dash. Corner point 4 as center, draw an arc between edges 3 and 4. Measure the distance of 1 dash to 5 dash. Corner point 5 as center, draw an arc between edges 4 and 5. Measure the distance of 1 dash to 6 dash. Corner point 6 as center, draw an arc between edges 5 and 6. Finally, with radius 1 dash to 1 dash, draw arc between edges 6 and 1. Thus the construction of involute of a hexagon, over. To draw tangent and normal. Mark the point on the involute, through tangent and normal has to be drawn. Join that point to the corner of the included angle of that arc segment. Extend this line. This is the normal for the involute. Draw a perpendicular line to the normal, through the same point. This line is tangent.